Oh, hi there. I'm just counting all the money that Muhammad Hijab has been sending my way. Muhammad Hijab has been making it rain. And I don't mean in the creepy golden showers way that he loves to talk about. He's making it rain these. Andrew Jackson's. Wow, Andrew Jackson was a white slave owner, just like the Prophet Muhammad. You'll recall that Muhammad Hijab, the tactical genius who keeps accidentally supporting our work, has been trying to get us banned from Patreon. These guys are Islamophobes, and obviously they've desecrated the Quran last week. Well, the call to action here is very straightforward. We're going to go to Patreon, okay? We're going to go to Patreon, we're going to make an account, and then when we make an account, we're going to mass report, yeah, uh, both of their channels. But like everything Hijab does, it backfired. He ended up getting me and the apostate prophet way, way more patrons. It would have taken me another two years to get the number of new supporters I got in the past two days. So thank you, Muhammad Hijab. The check for your cut is in the mail. I hope it doesn't get intercepted by the British counterterrorism agents people say are watching you. Unfortunately, Hijab's video calling on his fans to mob flag our pages on Patreon has been removed for violating YouTube's policy on harassment and bullying. Harassment and bullying, that does sound like Hijab, and like his ideology in general. I should point out, however, that I have no problem with Hijab's video. So, to the YouTube trust and safety team, I was being targeted in that video, and I say it's okay to put it back up. Unlike some people, I'm not made of glass. Speaking of people who are made of glass, Hijab's brothers in futility have been bombarding Patreon with complaints about us. Ali Dawa, how to report Patreon funding of David Wood and the apostate prophet. Let's see when funding stop if they were doing it for the money or cause they really saw Islam as a threat, lol. As a rule, Ali Dawa, if you want our funding to stop, you probably shouldn't be sending us scores of new supporters. But you do you, man. You do you. Adnan Rashid, this is the least anyone who believes in Allah and his messenger can do. Please share far and wide and cut the funding of these evil Islamophobes. Notice, cutting our funding is the least they can do. So, if you're not going to chop our heads off, at least complain to Patreon about us. And my personal favorite, Fareed. Fareed is the one who leaked Yasser Qadi's private emails and ultimately led to Yasser Qadi admitting that the Quran has been corrupted. So, we can't thank Fareed enough. An important question to Patreon support. Two individuals that thrive off donations through your site engage in hate crimes like eating and tearing the Quran. Does this not go against your community guidelines? Hate crimes? Hate crimes, Fareed? You think that eating the Quran is a hate crime? You think that tearing up the Quran is a hate crime? It's not a crime at all, not in this country. You can spend all day long, every day, tearing up the Quran. It's not a crime, let alone a hate crime. You can spend all day long, every day, tearing up the Bible. It's not a crime, let alone a hate crime. You can spend all day long, every day, tearing up the God Delusion by Richard Dawkins. It's not a crime, let alone a hate crime. But if you, Fareed, believe that it's a hate crime, you've got a problem because you just accused your own prophet of committing countless hate crimes. Or did you forget about all of the passages in Islam's most trusted sources reporting that the prophet entered Mecca, and at that time there were 360 idols around the Kaaba, he started stabbing the idols with a stick he had in his hand. He started stabbing the idols with a stick? That's a hate crime, right, Fareed? Oh, let me guess. It's perfectly acceptable for Muslims to desecrate the idols of other religions, but immoral and illegal for non-Muslims to desecrate the Quran. Yet there's a word for that kind of system, Fareed. The word is Sharia, and we ain't under it. I am not, have never been, 
and never will be your dimmy. So either saw my head off or get used to me not submitting to the commands of an illiterate 7th century caravan robber. You and your pals, Muhammad Hijab and Ali Dawa and Adnan Rashid, want a world where you can heap abuse on women and threaten them with rape and torture. A world where you can tell apostates that you're going to kill them when you take over. A world where, despite your behavior, everyone respects the book that convinces you to act like this. That's the world you want. But here in the real world, there are consequences for insulting and threatening people's wives. There are consequences for telling ex-Muslims that you're going to kill them. Earlier today, ex-Muslims started the Desecrate the Quran hashtag on Twitter and YouTube. They're posting pictures and videos of themselves desecrating the Quran, ripping the Quran, spitting on the Quran, holding the Quran with their feet. Why are they doing this? Because your community, Fareed, keeps threatening them and insulting them and heaping abuse on them, and they're sick of it. What are you going to do in response, Fareed? Are you going to try to get these ex-Muslims banned from YouTube, banned from Twitter? Does there ever come a point when you focus on your own bad behavior and on the bad behavior of people in your community, people like Muhammad Hijab and Ali Dawa, and not on the behavior of people who react to your bad behavior? Does there ever come a point when you try to earn respect by showing respect and not by heaping abuse on people? But by all means, keep mindlessly following Muhammad Hijab. What could go wrong there? As for everyone else who's watching, the link to my Patreon page and the link to the Apostate Prophets Patreon page are in the description box. As you can see, I don't need the money, but I do enjoy watching Muhammad Hijab and Ali Dawa and Farid and Adnan Rashid and all their fans throw tantrums when they see that in spite of all their efforts to control us, all we do is win.